person having to clean that up or the next student stepping and slipping on his nut. Why would you, why would you even like tell me that bro? Like, I don't even want to imagine that bro. Nearly four decades ago, a new young star entered the NBA with big hopes and even bigger hype. People knew he would be good, but it didn't take long for him to exceed expectations of even his biggest fans. Within just months of entering the league, even other players were in awe of his abilities. He's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. He's not human. We double teamed him every time he touched the ball and he still gets 35. The kid was a revolution for the league at the time, like nothing they had ever seen before. But this rookie knew that his NBA career was just getting started. And despite clearly being one of the best players in the entire league, he remained humble. I'm trying to play my natural game and I think I'm establishing myself, gaining the respect of the players. This was back in 1985. And at the time, the kid went by the name Mike. But today, we know him as Michael Jordan. And it's safe to say all the admiration he received, even at the genesis of his career, was no exaggeration. But is this the type of season a rookie must have to eventually become one of the greatest players of all time? What is the threshold or the signs we are looking for to try? I know we're not comparing Victor Wembayama to fucking Michael Jordan, bro. Let's relax, man. Let's relax, boys. Truly know if a young talent will blossom into a generational superstar. Because right now, there is a rookie in the NBA who may just be on that path. And if history tells us anything, if what we've seen for decades still remains true, Victor Wembanyama is that next generational superstar. Um, he's an unbelievable talent. He's probably one of the best prospects to enter the NBA. Uh, one of a kind type of player, and uh, he's gonna keep getting better each and every year. Yeah, he changes the game. Just try to make it difficult, try to jump. He's too tall. <laughs> He's way too tall. Just trying to figure out what he is because we've never seen him before. Today's he's that video good? Is sponsored. Y'all think he's that good, chat? Niggas trying to compare him to fucking Mike. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know, buddy. Halfway through Victor Wembanyama's rookie season, and he's been really good. All the hype we built up for the last two years was, for the first time in a long time, warranted. But how good has Ooh. Wimby actually been? Damn. Put the media machine to the oh. side, the absurd highlights, the crazy flashes of superhuman feats, and how good of a rookie season is Wimbenyama actually having? Well, according to just about every metric, he's having one of the best rookie seasons in modern NBA history. Starting with his production Ooh. from night to night. Damn. Through 36 games this season, Wemby is averaging nearly 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists a game with over 4 combined steals and blocks. The only other rookies to ever pull off these numbers were... No, no one. one. He is oh, the okay. first and only rookie to average such a stat line. Some rookies that have come close include Shaquille O'Neal, David Robinson, Tim Duncan, Larry Bird, Blake Griffin, Larry Johnson, and Dwight Howard, which is some pretty solid company to be included with. But Wemby is only playing 28 minutes a game this season, far less than so any of really these other players good, were apparently. in their rookie season. If oh, by the stats, it's looking like he's up there. It's looking like he's not that bad, no cap. If we convert these stat lines to per 36, then you can really see just how productive and potent Wemby has been to start his NBA career. In fact, if we take a look at estimated plus minus, arguably the best all-in-one statistic available to the public today, here are some notable stars of the NBA and their EPM in their rookie season. At the bottom, you have players who got off to a slow start, like Darius Garland, Jalen Brown, and Tyrese Maxey. Keep in mind, realistically, any rookie who can muster up a positive EPM at all is actually having a stellar season, with the average EPM league-wide being negative 1.0. Cade, LaMelo, and Halliburton all had similarly impactful rookie years, but you'll have to keep climbing to find some of the best rookies over the past decade. Here's Carl Anthony Towns, Luka, Ben Simmons, but the three rookie seasons that stand far above the rest are Victor Wembanyama, Chet Holmgren, and Nikola Jokic. But mm. here's the thing. Jokic, Holmgren, and Simmons were all not true rookies. They didn't log any NBA minutes in the season following their draft. Now, if we limit this list to true rookies, 
then Victor has a clear gap on even the league's brightest stars over the last 11 years. Which brings up a point that I think has been overlooked throughout Wimby's development this season. The kid just turned 20. Most of his numbers ah, this year damn. were put up while he was just a teenager. So damn, take a nigga. Wild guess at how many teenagers throughout the history of the NBA have averaged 15 points per game. Let's not even consider any other metrics. 15 points a night. That's it. The number is probably lower than you think because there have been just 13 teenagers in NBA. Y'all see who's up there? Y'all see who's up there? The motherfucking GOAT, nigga. Kyrie Irving, nigga. 18 points in your rookie season, Kyrie? You beast. You beast. You're a beast, bro. Oh, my gosh. LaMelo's up there. Wow. But he just made 15. Andrew Wiggins, 16. Anthony Edwards, 19 points. That's pretty good. Luca, 21. The guy's a freak. I'm not going to lie. Luca's a fucking freak. No cap. Carmelo, 21. Stephon Marbury, 15. Kobe, 15. Kobe just made 15. Wow. KD, 20. Of course, of course, KD averages 20. LeBron, 20. Wow, Luka averaged the most points so far. Wow, what a beast. What History, a beast, who have averaged 15 points per game or more. Among these 13 players are some of the greatest ever. Durant, Kobe, LeBron, Kyrie, and some future greats like... You already said some of the greatest ever. Kyrie... Luca, Anthony Edwards, and LaMelo Ball. But what if we add some more stipulations here? What about shooting efficiency? If we only include players who shot at least 55% true shooting while averaging 15 points or more in their rookie season, then this list narrows all the way down to just... Do I have to say more? He's a GOAT, man. He's a GOAT. He's a GOAT. One of the, bro, the greatest scoring point guard of all time. I don't care what no one says. Fuck all y'all niggas, man. He's just the best. Kyrie, Zion, and Wemby. Mm -hmm. But Kyrie and Zion are known for their scoring. That's their bread and butter. Victor Ooh. is this potent and efficient as a scorer, and it's not nearly where he's most valuable. Defensively, Wembenyama has been a superstar this season. At 7-4, Victor's interior defense is so overwhelming that his presence alone is enough to keep teams out of the paint. He snatches lobs out of the air that have no business even being contested. He has players kicking out layup opportunities that would otherwise be an easy two points. And almost like a free yeah. safety. That's the thing, like, he's seven foot, athletic, and go with his fucking hands, bro. Jeez, bro, this guy's weird. He has a natural instinct for help defense that allows him to close 10, 15 foot gaps in a split second. On this play, Wemby's teammate gets beat towards the baseline. And imagine, almost... imagine Wemby on the same team as Kawhi. Ugh. Instantaneously, Nasty. Victor reacts, beats both guards to the paint, and cuts off the offense, preventing an easy layup, blowing up this entire possession. Here's another play against the Clippers where Wemby is playing perimeter defense, which is already an anomaly for a player of this size to begin with. Kawhi gets a step on him coming off the screen, but Victor manages to recover. Kawhi has nowhere to go, so he kicks it out. Once again, Wemby almost gets a piece of the ball, and in about a half a second, he has effectively closed out on Westbrook on the other side of the court. Westbrook thinks he has him beat, but Wemby recovers and ends Lock. this possession. Damn, this nigga's a beast. I know he's good defensively. God damn. This nigga's a beast, bro. He's like that one anime character um, from Kuroko, bro. The, um, the nigga with the purple hair. With a blocked shot. Victor Wembenyama is the only human being on this planet who could pull off this defensive sequence. So far this season, Wemby is averaging 4.23 stocks per ah, game. That there. steals and blocks combined. Now, why would I use such a precise number, you ask? Well, because it is the second most amount of stocks per game from any player over the last 15 NBA seasons. And he has managed to pull this off as a 19 year old in his rookie season on Crazy. just 28 minutes a game. For some more context, here's Victor's rookie stocks compared to every other player in the league this season. Yeah you could make a legitimate argument that as a rookie, Wimby already has the most impactful interior defense in the league. But let's take this one step further. 
Here are the top 100 rookie stock seasons over the last 15 years. And of course, wow. no one comes even close. Jeez, bro. Jeez. What the fuck? But there are some players here that might give us some insight on the trajectory or even the archetype of player that Victor Wembanyama is. Specifically, Joel Embiid and Anthony Davis, skilled volume scorers who are capable of being defensive anchors on winning teams. But at this point in his young career, Victor is better offensively and defensively than these two future Hall of Famers. So how good is Victor Wembanyama actually? Well, better than I believe most people think. The circus act he puts on every night, the freakish length that he has somehow already figured out how to use at an ultra elite level, the stuff that he does that you and I literally never thought we'd see in our lifetimes. It's all great, but the foundation of Wemby's game is what really sets him apart from the thing. The thing about Wemby that's holding him back. Oh, he's not holding him back, but that could get in his way is health. He has to stay healthy, not because the. The NBA season is brutal, man. It's 82 games, and then if you make it to the playoffs, you could go far, right? So he has to stay healthy, and then... Is he strong, or does he just not need to be strong? Because if he doesn't need to be strong, then fuck it. Man. Yeah, do your thing, bro. Because he's tall, you know? But if you can put a little meat on his bones like Giannis, then yeah. He's definitely a problem virtually every other rookie that we've seen in recent history. He has a skill set that allows his game to thrive against any matchup anywhere on the court. He has this competitive edge about him that'll keep him hungry and working to get better each year. The kid loves to compete, which sounds obvious, but after seeing phenomenal young talents like Zion Williamson and Ben Simmons take steps backwards, despite their abilities, I think being wired this way is crucial for these young stars. Where would Giannis be today without his drive and love for the game? Even something as simple as being able to knock down his free throws at an elite rate cannot be understated. The signs of a true generational star are all there. We are talking about one of the best offensive rookie talents in league history, who, in some sort of sick joke, has managed to also be arguably the best defensive rookie ever. So based on what we've seen, which has admittedly been a small sample size, Wemby is checking off all the boxes to be the next great NBA talent. Not just a star, or even a superstar, but a transcendent, face of the NBA kind of talent. If a young player produces like the greats did, and he is improving like the greats did, and he is showing signs and flashes of being great, then he probably is. Because after taking... So is this, is this the replacement for LeBron? Is this LeBron's replacement? Victor Wembenyama? Might be. He might be. He might a be. A deeper look into his rookie season so far. Barring some catastrophic injury, it would essentially be impossible to be this Dad. good, this... I'm not gonna cap, bro. I really want to see this guy get injured, bro, because it, um, basketball needs someone like him. Early in your career and not progress into a generational talent. So how good is Victor Wembenyama actually? Better than we thought he would be. Let's see the comments, man. This guy's a baller.